Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as as much as you're getting to know me and you know um, and if you really feel like the videos you know just give you a good vibe or you really can get some insight off of it please you know uh, give a thumbs up and share it would be greatly appreciated and send so much love and light like I always tell people my image my 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 image of my, my my videos my vibration everything is secured tightly protected and very you know uh, loved so anything that you're coming here for is bringing hidden intent. You're trying to read between the lines on seeing where you can block, curse, or do whatever your negative vibes want to do. It's being sent towards you ten times fold. Except I'm sending blessings, love, and light to you. Anyways, the video that I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Never, uh, you know, hey, Okas, never be mad with yourself for falling, uh, falling back into old ways because you can see uh, what is needed. Uh, to change and to spring forward and it's so true. It's so so true You know when you are allowing yourself to work on yourself. Nobody's perfect. Okay, we're gonna have moments where you have really gone through it It could be one of those days one of those days and it could be that one look it could be that one little Sly remark or whatever and make you pop off and then when you finally get to that point where you collect yourself like I Really let myself go there didn't I no, yeah, you did you know, but it's just like when you can allow yourself to really, oh, excuse me, get into the center of yourself. Sorry about that. That was green tea. I've been drinking. Um, you know, you really get into that point where you're centering yourself and you're working on yourself each and every day. You understand, I don't have control over my life. Only God does. I only have control of how I see things. I only have control about how I respond to things instead of reacting to them. I have my, my ways of control over how I choose different things that I want the paths I want to take and I can choose to absorb or I can choose to observe you know and those are the four things that I have you know control over you know any other things that is out of my control I have to be able to allow that to be out of my mind you know and being able to do it because it's just like you can deal with people that are just prone to you know misery loves company if they you know you there be your light can irritate the hell out of somebody's demons you know so they want to be able to keep bringing stuff at you but then you it'll get to that point where you working so hard on yourself you'll see every situation that was brought with resistance or brought with something that really pulled you into that vibration especially if you becoming a whole new person like I tell people you know anybody who known me for years they know me I was about that life I will fight you. It, it could have been a male or a female. It, it could have been somebody greasy granny. You know, you came at me like that, my look. <laughs> ah, don't come at me about that. Don't come at me like that. And now it's at that point where sometimes you got to walk away. It may be it may be irritating that pride or irritating the image. But it'll be sometimes, is this worth you going to jail for? It's worth you taking somebody's life for, you know, because you see a lot of people, you know, and I tell people all the time, it's like back in the day, we used to fight. <laughs> you know, we used to fight. We used to, uh, uh, what was it? We used to, um, you know, dance, you know, try, <laughs> you know, do, do different stuff like that to try to, you know, even out things. Nowadays, they picking up pistols. And it's just like, why are you... Uh, making a, a temporary emotion to make a permanent decision and then it's just the fact that you're either you are running and you constantly looking behind your back to see if you're about to get caught or you in jail you know especially like when you be seeing these females and these dudes fighting over another dude or another female and it's just like do you realize they're going to do that to the next person you know that right so you don't sit up here and took somebody's life, you don't took somebody away from their kids, their family or whatever, and you don't took yourself away from your kids or whatever, and now, you know, two lives has been lost while this whoever this person is is going off and doing that to the next person. Now you think that was right for you because you're trying to prove loyalty to a person that's not even loyal to themselves or you. <laughs> you know, it'll be one of those different things. And you're learning about yourself, you know, and it'll be just those different things that you're going through in life. 
where when you're allowing yourself to like look I'm trying to aim towards being the best person of my best version of myself I'm only in competition with who I was yesterday or who I was seeing as confirmation you hearing all them, I don't know what the heck they're doing outside but um uh just being the best version of myself on clearing myself out because it's like my old ways has got me in so much trouble my old ways you know because i used to be you know that type of person i go to jail for just popping off on somebody breaking to my windows like stuff on fire you know just you know a little crazy stuff like that now it's just like you know if i know myself like i really know my the better part of myself i'm not gonna be put in positions to where i gotta prove a point by being that that hard you know being that you know that you know about that life you know whatever and if that suits somebody else's life that suits them it don't suit me anymore so it had to be that type of my life where i had to be able to change and there'll be different things where i know god will put me in a situation just to see if i'm gonna respond to it or he'll put something in my face and say are you gonna you know you're gonna click that link because you already know this mess gonna piss you off or you gonna respond to it because you already know you about that life you, you clap back in a minute you know just where you see somebody you know just disrespectful you know it'll be different things like that you know i said you know what i'm just go ahead and block this person because i already know i can get real ignat <laughs> you know not ignorant but ignat you know and i'm not going to do that and it'll be just those points in my life where it's like okay i had to really be about that and it was just like these are the different things that had to take place in my life that's giving me that practice to where i only have control over how i tend to move forward in certain situations in my life the rest of it that's on god you know that that is like on god all the way and these are those different things and this is how they're letting you know you see how much you're changing when you see you know it was just like prime example i was about to start popping off on this video and it was just like do you really need to do that just to get a point across you know what no boom <laughs> and it was just like no let me go ahead and rewrite this and go ahead Press pause for the cause. Go ahead and reach that and start all over. But, you know, you can keep it real without having to really, you know, show you behind like that. And it, it'll be just like, you know, sometimes I got to be able, I'm like, calm down, girl. Calm down. Make me feel like Blue. <laughs> Blue Carter. When she be set up here, Beyonce and then Jay-Z. And they be somewhere. And she be like, calm down, mom. Calm, calm down, dad. It was like, she be running them. <laughs> you know, I be looking at them. I'm like, dad, Blue be running them. Okay. But it'll be just that way in your life. Like, you know. A lot of times there'll be different times where you know you've been that situation where I, I can see where I said this is gonna end very badly you know I was just looking like this is gonna really it <laughs> you know this is really gonna sit up here and pop off very badly so it, it's just like all those different situations is going on and it's just like wow you know these things change me for the better these things has made me a better person you know it just allows me to think before i allow myself to respond not react but respond or if i know how something really irritated me today how can i be able to make this better for me tomorrow allow myself let let yesterday be yesterday and let today be today let me focus on something that's positive and learn you know being able to have that subliminal for yourself is like okay okay this happened like okay i wasn't able to get this report off on time with this you know it'll be certain things that's out of your you know maybe the wi-fi was slow or maybe you know the lights went out you know because it'll be different times like i know my daughter be having a fit and <laughs> you know she had a school assignment and she and she got our me and her dad's temper it's like Mom, I'm, like, I'm like okay calm down you know we can go ahead and contact the school tomorrow because it was just like like um it was a very bad storm one day prime example it was a very bad storm one day and she was like um she had this thing to do and i already told her life lesson number one don't put off something on the last minute go ahead and try to work on it as much as you can i know because it was like with her she got about three four daggone jobs or whatever like that and is still trying to go to school which i really commend her for it and it'll be you know and i told her try just try to you know i know you need a break and i know you know you need time to collect but I, so i'm telling you if you keep it real with your teacher and get, keep it understanding because we all in the same place you know it'd be different you know when you go into school online and you know from uh different states you know because i know my ex he was doing 
doing it one time uh, when he was going to school and I think it was uh, the University of Phoenix or whatever and we're in Georgia and it was just like the lights went out because somebody hit a transformer or there was a big tree that fell on the transformer and it put our lights out for two days you know and it was really bad because matter of fact I probably I think I put a notice out on it and I'm telling hey you know there ain't gonna be no videos today because you know our lights went out and I'm trying to conserve my battery on my phone you know and stuff like that and it's like you there are certain things that can't be helped so I understand that but it's just like if you allow yourself to keep it real you got one of them teachers that is hardcore and just want to you know do that that's I mean it, it can hurt you for a minute but it's like hey I, I try to come real because some people you know especially when it comes to teachers and stuff like that you, you sometimes you got those teachers that will really understand like hey you know I know that can't be helped especially if you're in Georgia and so I got chills you know certain things can't be helped that's, that's the law of God you know you can't you can't go against that there will be certain times things will just happen in that way and you just can't it can't be helped so it's just like you know sometimes they'll give you an extension especially if you're doing that you know because I told my daughter I said does your teachers know um, that you got two jobs two or three jobs and they're like yeah okay um your classes are here you know because I know there was some some class she was doing you know in the building or some she was doing online I said okay your classes are here right and she's like yeah I said okay they know it's storming but there'll be sometimes when you go part of uh, Georgia where we're at there'll be sometimes you'll see it raining on one side of the street and it'll be clear on the other day and I'll say dad I wish I could have had a recording of this mess because mess look crazy it would be on one of them TikTok confirmations and be stuff like that there'll be different things that's going on and you really trying to understand um, you know, what's going on, like what was what's uh what's taking place, what I need to understand, you know, all those different things, and you're really trying to allow yourself to move forward. And sometimes it is really hard to do that, you know, when you've got so many different things going on. But when you allow yourself to really um to really allow yourself to say, you know what, I'm in this moment of change. And when you allow yourself to really talk to the universe and say, you know what, I'm trying to keep myself open to everything that y'all bringing towards me. I'm wanting to be that. I want to be teachable. I want to be, you know, being able to learn everything from the good and the bad, happy and the sad. Just being able to understand, you know, hey, I can't, I have to be able to allow that change to take place. You really want seriousness of change to take place universe will place different obstacles in your life just to see how you're going to move forward in that you know you, you know there's be times that you, you have to be quick on your feet but there'll be sometimes it's going to give you that moment okay you're going to react you know you got to respond but you're not don't allow yourself to react so it'll be different things that i see and i'll be like god you really trying to test me today yep and i'm glad you stood up here and thought about that before your butt <laughs> went full forward on it and just going and then so when you're allowing yourself to really do that, you know, and just being able to attach yourself because it's just like so much is going on right now where you have to be able to shield yourself from other people's energy. It, you can be so happy and bubbly today and you can get around something and then be the next thing, you know, you're irritable, you're agitated, you're thinking of everything negative into your life and it's like, okay, what happened? You know, did somebody come in, you know, and it could be you're not realizing you're attaching to somebody else's energy and what others impacts when we're, um, uh, what is it, uh, HSPs, you know, your hypersensitive person, you know, you, you tend to make, be gravitating towards different things like that. You have to be able to understand, is this my energy or is this somebody else's energy? I have to be able to clear myself. I have to be able to go in nature. I have to go do meditation, ask for a prayer to, you know, keep me you know, covered, you know, all those different things and noticing these are not my emotions. These are not, this is not in my nature of character that I'm used to being in. Even though this may have been my nature from past, you know, this is not in my present. I'm trying to stay in the present, you know, because a lot of things that we're going through right now, it can really take us back, take us aback. And you, you really dealing with a lot of things where past issues is coming up. And as soon as I said, I got chills. Woo! Well, a lot of people are really dealing with past issues where you're trying to mend from those things. And depending on what you went through, you already know it really went through, you really went through it. You know, you really went through some hardship and you're really trying to allow yourself to say, I'm not going to allow this to affect me anymore. This is what brought me on my path, but don't mean this has to continue to be my story. You know, this don't have to continue to be something I have to constantly keep talking about. And it's just like, you know what happened to you. And you know, I've been there. 
I've been there where that was always my my opening introduction and it was just like yeah I have to be able to change it you you creating something a whole new different thing just because it started that way don't mean you need to carry it on that way it's like yeah my life started off very very traumatic dramatic and 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 very just hard to digest but now this has uncovered something into me that I never knew that was there I, I find myself being um very resilient I, I see myself as being unstoppable you know only God can stop me you know I found myself being a go-getter I find myself wanting to help other people that you know maybe lagging behind from the things that they really gone through um really seeing how you know people are constantly wanting to keep them in that that mask that they put them on you know they or is me wanting to break free from that old but people keep on trying to force me into that old suit of tragedy you know it'll be different things like that and you're really working on yourself you are really really working on yourself and these are the different things where it's telling you you know be happy of the fact that you're doing that because there's a lot of things that's going on in life where it's kind of hard for you to shake that off especially if you're really dealing with some real tragic stuff and this is just like how do I walk away from this how do I be able to heal from these things how am I be able to put my best foot forward when every time I try to move it's like always being swiped up from under me you're being able to have to be able to look at your surroundings in a whole different way these are the different things that's teaching me even if I'm in the bottom of the trenches this is teaching you that you can still get up out of that and create something very beautiful you know you going through you stuck in a hellish situation you can create something very beautiful with that if you allow yourself to take one day at a time it's not gonna be overnight it's not, you know, whatever you're going through is not going to be easy. God never sit up here and promise you that. You know, he never promised nobody that, but it's going to be worth it. And a lot of times we were looking at him sideways like, you speak for yourself. <laughs> you know, just because you did that don't mean, I, you know, that I want to be able to do that. But it's just like, this is what we signed up for. But it's just like, when I can look back at so many different things that were sent to break me. Done built me in so many different ways. And they, they, they say, this is where you... When you take your time out to really just look at things, and I mean not look at them as in dwelling on the pain that, that you have caused other people or pain that people have caused you, but see how this um, builds you into a better person. It um, created a character of your life that you never knew it could be. You know, and, and those are the different things where it's telling you never get mad when you have had those setbacks because there'll be different times where you could really see yourself like, I went a million and some spaces forward and just by one remark one comment one one look or one remark somebody had for me it made me go 10 million paces back but then it's like when you get back up and you really see what action pursued into making you go back like that and you work on that that's the part of you that lets you know things are changing because you see what took you there you see what counter reacted that situation to take apart when you went that way because you allow somebody you put your power into a person that that's what you gave them you know it could be a person that really hates the fact that you're healing you know or really fact you know that oh they think they're better than somebody else no it's, you know there'll be people that yeah they be thinking they're better than somebody else but if you're not on that vibe i'm trying to be better than what i was before i didn't like the person i was before i didn't like the things that i did before within my life i want to do better you know, I want to be proud of the things that I did, not by hurting people, by belittling somebody, by trying to block somebody's blessing, by doing my own. I want to be able to be that better person where if I can bring some encouragement and some kind of enlightenment in somebody's life, I want to be able to do that. You know, a lot of times where I felt bad about stuff that I was going through and there'll be somebody that want to talk to me and I'm really like, I'm not like, dude, I, I can make more harm than good into your life. But then it'll be God push me towards that person. And then I can, when when I talk to that person, I can bring some kind of upliftment. I, I'll go into tears because it's like, that's what I needed to get me out of that funk. Just by bringing some kind of laughter in somebody's life, just by bringing some kind of uplift in somebody's life, that made me feel better about my day. And it was like, that was the whole point. You know, could be sometimes it's like, you know, you may be going about something like that, but go help somebody else. I'm like, what is this doing to help me? You know, I, mean, I used to get mad about that when I used to read different, you know, different uh, angel numbers. It's like, go help other people. You know, what you're going through can really help people. You know, you forget about the things you're going through. I'm like, man, forget you. That's what wants you really. You know, I'll be saying something else, but, you know, I was, I ain't, I'm about to go there. But then I understood what they were talking about. You don't realize how much joy can come out of a tragedy when it's so hard for you to shake that mess off. 
you know and you when you going through different things like you know universe knows we're going through we're spiritual beings you know we we're, we're more powerful than we allow ourselves to realize we 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 far more we really don't give ourselves the credit we need to you know to really see the things that we can thrive and survive on you know than we should but it's just like see the different things you have gone through and see how much those things has changed you for the worse. But also allow yourself to really see how it changed you for the better. You know, these are the things that has happened for a reason, you know, a reason and a season. You know, you, you've gone through so many different things. And I tell people just because you're a warrior don't mean every battle is your war. You only got your war. When God tells you, hey, I need you to fight, you have to be OK where you want me positioned at. You know, daddy, you know where you want me at, where you want me to be at, what weapon you got me with. But there'll be some people that are war with themselves, and that's not your war. They got to be able to handle that because some people be like, man, I need you to pray for me and stuff like that. And there'll be some time where, mm -mm, or a different time where people say, I'm praying for you, and you can't even accept that prayer because some people are praying for something to be worse into your life. And you'll feel it too. Like, mm, don't accept that prayer. Or I can't pray for you because it'll be something like this is, a, you know, and you're not trying to be mean. And some people are like, Dad, what do you mean you can't pray for me? Because it'll be certain things you don't place yourself in that you're going to have to really go through and learn from that. So you can get the blessings of that prayer that's being sent towards you anyway. Because God, sometimes he puts you in some situations where you really have to learn. Like this is what you cannot continue to keep doing. This is what you cannot continue to keep making moves at. You need to, you know, think before you react. You need to be silent before you start speaking on things. You need to, you know, focus on you without focusing on somebody else. This is how we're learning every day, every day. So if you're going through different things into your life, you know, and you know you're going through changes, it's like changes is not easy. Because a lot of times you have to understand we are at a set frequency that we were at for a long time. And then when God was like, hmm. They went through, you know, 20 years of hardship, you know, probably been on, you know, some, you know, uh, harsh attachments, maybe on drugs, you know, probably been, you know, person of the night, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and flip the script. And now they're going to have to understand everything that they were going through was a whole lot. And, and you're like, what? <laughs> you know, you really been able to speak on that. And it'll be like, what? And then it'll be the next thing is like, now this is where I want you to be authentic with yourself. Keep it real with yourself, seeing everything as some kind of blessing, even if it comes and smacks you in the face or hits you in the narts. You know, it'll be one of those different things. You're going to see everything as a blessing. And as soon as I said it, my nose started itching, so thank you. So you're going through these different things where you are really changing and rearranging yourself. But when you can see where you done came out of character or you can see where you allowed your power to be freely given to certain things or certain situations that it shouldn't have been, you know, and you're allowing yourself to see that it lets you know you're changing. So don't be so hard on yourself when things like that happen. Just being able to let yourself know as soon as I, oh, okay, somebody needed to hear that. Probably even myself too. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're going through different things. You're not perfect. Okay, nobody is. But when you can allow yourself to say, hey, just be quiet. Let God do that. Or just allow yourself, hey, don't, don't throw that punch. <laughs> like don't do that you're going to jail don't do it don't do it silly don't do it come back from the light caroline it'll be one of one of those different things but allow yourself to know you are going through things and they're going to be sending many tests to see if you realize how much you have really changed or just being able to know it could be the worst things that you've probably been in like i said i used to be that type of person go tit for tat i could be very petty i mean very very petty like past nikki petty and tom petty just petty petty you know and really there and just go there. It ain't no disrespect towards Tom Petty or no Nikki. I don't want no barbs coming at me or anything like that. But I'm just saying I love the last name Petty. I can really get there. You know, but just being able to go through those things. And you, you can be that type of person that really allowed yourself to really go there tit for tat. Be really there. You know, and just love to be able to irritate somebody's soul when you could just because you could. You know, and when you allow yourself to like, man, I ain't even going to allow myself to go there. I could really go there, but I'm not going to allow myself to go there. And then when you know you better than that, that lets you know you are really, really changing. Because the universe will show you. Even when you get tired of going through things, I see so many things that I could have reacted to and responded. And then just knowing that's what was sent towards my way to just get that because it, it, it gave somebody else some kind of empowerment or some kind of level up to just to be able to oh that's an 80 up over you because i made my day because i'm feeling some type of way and just truly don't that that gives myself extra power within myself it's like can you can you 
you know, control other people's actions towards you. No, but it can, you can choose to not accept it. You know, not everything needs your response. Just your silence and you just observing was a response. Not everything needs your, your counteractive. You know what I'm saying? But when you do that, you're allowing yourself to know. It, it's like your higher self is like, now you see what I'm talking about. Don't be giving your power freely to everything. Because that, it, 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 no. Give it to love. You know, the love is being, you know, reciprocated. Give that to kindness, being a peace. When, you, when you're allowing you to put your power on something that's going to keep you growing, keep empowering you to that next step, please do that all by all means. But something that's going to put you on a setback, if it happens, allow yourself to forgive yourself and just say no to self. This is going to happen again. It may happen a different way. You may not even be expecting it. Just observe and keep moving. Ching. And be all good and gripey. But just allow yourself to know. That will be able to let yourself know. You're allowing yourself to see how much change is really taking place. And you're allowing yourself to let change take place where it truly needs to. And you know. And, and that's a, a beautiful thing. So don't be hard on yourself. Okay. I would love to give a post notification shout out to my my funny trickster. Yes. Timberwolf. You know. You be having me laughing every day with your silliness and your stupidness, but I love it all the time. Uh, big ups to the new um, sub, Pretty pretty Natural, much love to you. Um, Marcella uh, Williams, much love to you, new, new new sub. You know, thank you for, you know, uh, subscribing. It's, pretty, uh, uh, it's truly appreciated as well. And uh, Boy Divine, much love to you as well. I think I, uh, du Dewine, Dwayne, I, I promise, ugh. I'm sorry if I messed it up, but thank you for subscribing. Much love to you. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. Uh, just be able to connect with me. It's all about spiritual networking. Um, just to be able to uh, help you understand a deeper part of your purpose. You know, understand why things fell off the way they did. What things that you, you're peeking on. Trying to give you that deeper understanding about your life. I love to be able to help people like that. It's just a blessing to be able to connect in that way. You know, giving you love, each other's love and support where it's truly needed. Because, you know, a lot of times in our surrounding people really don't understand what we're going through. And it makes us look crazy. But just being able, I tell people, I don't judge you. There will be things that, I mean, it could be... You can be seeing cows jumping over the moon, and I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I'm like, oh, okay, so what else happened? You know, be letting people, it's like, Dad, you don't think I'm crazy? No. <laughs> you know, you'd be amazed if we sit up here and be around a whole little ritual where we're telling the most craziest things we even went through. You'd be surprised, like, oh, fam, oh, it's good to know you. And I'm like, boy, he's like, shoot, other people would have thought they would have been trying to get me locked up. Thinking I'm crazy. But no, I tell people, I don't, I don't judge you. As long as you don't touch little kids, you don't be playing around with uh, animals and be knocking on, uh, you know, somebody greasy granny down the daggone stairs, we good. You know, I don't judge you, but I mean, I'm like, you do one of those three, I, I, I can't deal with you. I can't deal with you. But, um, you know, there's no judgment. I'll just leave that to go ahead. But um, just allowing different things to go on and let things take place the way they should be. And just being able to help the way I can. You know, I tell people whatever we discuss is confidential and I just help out the best way I can. Even if it's just like to get insight on, hey, Roz and I went through this. Do you, you know, you can, can you pick it and see, you know, what was going on? And I, I do that a lot. And just really trying to understand that um, the way it could be. Um, and just being able to help out the best way I can. And if you're interested in my podcast, I also have that on there on my community section of my channel. It's all with... Um, uh, different memes that I have. I have empath memes, you know, uh, different things. It's like food for thought, just friendly reminder, just, you know, different things is going in because, you know, it's like opening portals in these different dimensions is folding in and stuff like that. And we're going through a huge retrograde right now. It's like Uranus and it's Pluto and it's Jupiter, Mars. All that mess is just giving me a headache and just made me almost earth sick. You know, it's just a lot. So I uh, just uh, being able to help out with that. And if you're ever generous enough to drop a donation, you know, Cash App is there as well. You know, it's truly appreciated. Um, and whatever you're trying to work on into your, your manifestations, you're trying to bring fruition. You know, I'm sending so many beautiful vibes towards your way, whatever you're needing. If it's like consistent, focused, you know, uh, 
persistence, determination, whatever you're needing. I'm saying that 20 million times fold towards your way. You know, just keep on being counterproductive. You know, stay dedicated to yourself no matter how hard it may seem. You keep going. If universe and God don't put an image in your head that you can make this happen, it, it can always be possible. you making your dreams come reality. So never sleep on yourself. Stay woke. Stay persistent and consistent. If you fall off that, you know, off that, 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 uh, that daggone saddle, you know, get right back on stronger, you know, more confident and stronger than you did when you fell off. If they throw you to the wolves, you come back leading the pack like nowhere, you know, not like no other, okay? And so you stay consistent about that because you truly have a purpose and what you are doing really truly matters and it's needed more than you ever can realize. You know, and, and, and you knowing that you have light and potential that truly triggers the darkness and they'll do anything to make you feel like your dreams can never come true your dreams are too big or you don't have what it takes you know um and they can make you convince you of that today just because you may have blessings of doors of opportunities can open tomorrow so please keep going you know even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequencies that can really you know help other people and just for you doing that for no motives or any intentions it can take you even further as well and please be safe and responsible at everything you're doing i'm sending so much love and prosperity and abundance for you for the rest of the week even though this week is almost over with you know one day and then it's going to be the weekend but god dog you know i'm hey i'm sending it towards your way so much love to you and much love god bless i say shalom um namaste much love to you and peace